the FBI informant. She was a McCain supporter. They dressed her up as a hippie. She was told to sleep with guys. Oh my god. Yeah, and then she then she was uh, told to be an anarchist. She dressed all in black and went to anarchist events. And went to the anarchist media center. After the media center, she go report right to the state police. And he turned everybody in. She was given a brand new car, a camera, a law cabin, and she had portrayed the anarchist movement and was leading marches dressed in black. Yeah, she was paid to sleep with people. Hey, all finishes here. And then, and then the camera, they gave her a camera. They put in the car, the camera fell out of the camera. The guy was too young and too stupid. They asked, why do you got a camera in the car? <laughs> and then she said the guy wanted to kill her. He was an activist. So the people went to jail because of her. Mike check! Mike check! Mike check! Just so I can keep streaming. So, but if you, if you like look at her, you would never suspect. She dressed, she dressed, she dresses just like that punk art guy. You would never know. And then we're going to do... A general assembly. The main thing with Cointel Pro is to control the money and the leadership. Like to facilitate it. Yeah. Like to facilitate. So while the speak out is going on, so while the speak out is going on, whoever wants to facilitate, whoever wants to facilitate, the GA, the GA, just come to me. Just come to me. Thanks, man. I'm sorry, I'm, st I'm stealing your umbrella. So I find my friend who has my umbrella somewhere, but. Stop spending First, all this like money on cops and you have some money for health care. First, like to give you a little background and on the cover. On the Brooklyn Hospital Crisis. With Mark Hennig. With Mark Hennig. There's my umbrella man. Hi, my name is Mark. Hi, my name is Mark. We're sitting down close to each other and I think I'm good. I'm a member of the health care for the 99% work group. I'm a member of the health care for the 99% work group. Occupy Wall Street. Occupy Wall Street. Yeah, I think so. We meet every Sunday afternoon. Please join us if you like. I was just hanging out with this guy for now. That's you. We'll be having a meeting. And we'll be having a meeting. After the General Assembly. After the General Assembly. Here in Cadman Plaza. Here in Cadman Plaza. Unless it rains too hard. Unless it rains too hard. Then we'll think of a plan B. Then we'll think of a plan B. They want stories from the health care crisis. You think I got one? A couple. I want to tell you a little bit about the hospital crisis in Brooklyn. There are five hospitals in Brooklyn. There are five hospitals in Brooklyn. Northern and Central Brooklyn. Northern and Central Brooklyn. That are very financially distressed at the moment. That are very financially distressed at the moment. Umbrella. They steal his umbrella. They serve neighborhoods. They have large numbers. They have large numbers. I'm live streaming and stealing your umbrella. It's big enough. Okay. Public programs like Medicaid and communities of color and communities of color immigrant communities and immigrant communities. A special work group. A special work group set up by Governor Cuomo last year. Set up by Governor Cuomo last year. That was chaired by a Wall Street financier. That was chaired by a Wall Street financier. His name is Stephen Berger. His name is Stephen Berger. Recommendations. Came up with some recommendations to merge these five hospitals. To merge these five hospitals into two networks. Into two networks. Hi, Jaggy. Welcome. Thank you for joining us on the Occupy Earth. Brooklyn, 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 Brookdale, Brookdale, Interfaith, Interfaith, Kingsbrook Jewish, Kingsbrook Jewish, Wyckoff, Wyckoff. The special work group also recommended, also recommended the Kingsborough Kingsboro Psychiatric, the Kingsborough Psychiatric be closed, be closed, and all its patients be moved, and all its patients be moved to Southeast Psychiatric, oh, Southeast Psychiatric on Staten Island. 
On Staten Island. Fortunately, I got a good view. Just this week, it's been announced. It's been announced. The state is not going to do that. The state is not going to do that. The other recommendation was that SUNY Downstate was that SUNY Downstate move all of its inpatient services move all of its inpatient services over to Long Island College Hospital over to Long Island College Hospital over here in Cobble Hill. No, Bob, I did not spit off the bridge. Um, I peed off the bridge. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Burger Work Group also recommended that New York change its laws that New York change its laws to allow for-profit investors to allow for-profit investors to invest in financially distressed hospitals to invest in financially distressed hospitals. This is part of a larger pattern. This is part of a larger pattern that is happening all across the country. That is happening all across the country. Where Wall Street occupying health care. Where Wall Street is occupying health care. Here in New York it started. Yes, Here in New York it started. In 1994. In 1994. I'm sorry, 1995. 1995. When Governor Pataki first came in. When Governor Pataki first came in. And he got rid of a system of regulated hospital rates. And he got rid of a system of regulated hospital rates. And we went to a system of competitive hospitals. And we went to a system of competitive hospitals. At the same time, at the same time, at the to turn our public insurance programs like Medicaid. We began to turn our insurance programs like Medicaid. Go ahead and take it now. Uh, over to the health plan. So that's what's happening. Staying so close to someone else. Here in New York and here in Brooklyn. It's a small I'm, umbrella. I'm running on a, an hour left on this trip, so I, I was going to go ahead and set this down for now and use okay. my, my camera. And stuff, but I'm going to go and find a place I can pack it down. Okay. It's a good time to take a break, but with the rain, I don't know. Starting at 6 o'clock. I'm not staying here for all of that. Can you compete by the Save Our Safety Net campaign? That's been working with Brooklyn elected officials. That's been working with Brooklyn elected officials. To address the crisis of hospitals in Brooklyn. To address the crisis of hospitals in Brooklyn. Bob, you're too funny there. Oh, there he is. You're all welcome to come if you'd like to learn more and get involved. Thank you. Thank you. Mike Jack. Mike Jack. Mike, there's also a hospital crisis in Manhattan. There's also a hospital crisis in Manhattan. With the closing of St. Vincent's, there is no emergency facility downtown. With the closing of St. Vincent's, there's no emergency facility downtown. Stan Bresnikoff is an ex-deputy mayor of New York City. Stan Bresnikoff is an ex-deputy mayor of New York City. Look around there, maybe a restroom. I don't know if there is. He's the president of the Health Corporation. They yeah. offered to buy the profitable parts of St. Vincent's and shut down the rest. They offered to buy the profitable parts of St. Vincent's and shut down the rest. Their offer was rejected. Their offer was rejected. Stan Bresnikov. Stan Bresnikov. Continuum Health. Continuum Health. Fuck Monsanto. Fuck Monsanto. Mike check. check. My name is James. My name is James. And I'm at the end of my fourth year of medical school. I'm at the end of my fourth year of medical school. I, I did it here in Brooklyn. I did it here in Brooklyn. In the hospitals that we're talking about. In the hospitals that we're talking about. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about Mr. Berger. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about Mr. Berger. But first, I'd like to tell you some things they taught me as a medical student. But first, I'd like to tell you some things they taught me as a medical student. I keep losing it. Thank you. This era of e medicine and telemedicine. It's being impressed upon first year medical students. It's being impressed upon first year medical students. That you have to talk to your patients. That you have to talk to your patients. They have to look at your patients. They you have, have to look, look at your patients. patients. And sometimes you have to touch your patients. Sometimes, sometimes you, have you have to touch, touch your patients. God forbid. There's a lot of parallels between clinical medicine and public health. There's a lot of parallels between clinical medicine and public health. Mr. Berger. Mr. Berger. Lives on the Upper East Side on Park Avenue. Lives on the Upper East Side of Park Avenue. He doesn't live in Brooklyn. 
He doesn't, doesn't live, live in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. His team that made the burger report. His, his team, team that made, made the burger report, report isn't comprised of anyone that's a native to Brooklyn. It's not comprised, comprised of anyone that's a native of Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Except for one disgraced CEO. Except for one disgraced CEO. Bob, that was you if under the bridge. Gonna, Follow this parallel between clinical medicine and public health. If we're going to follow this parallel between clinical medicine and public health, then when we redesign our public health systems, then when we redesign our public health systems, we should also talk to the people of those communities. We should also talk to the people of those communities. We should look at the people of those communities. We should look at the people of those communities. And sometimes we just might have to share the same physical space. And sometimes we might have to, have to share the same physical space. This has not been done in Brooklyn. This has not been done in Brooklyn. One more thing to say as a medical student and an incoming intern. One more thing to say as a medical student and incoming intern. Is that this plan will result in the loss of 400 residents in primary care from Brooklyn. Is that this plan will result in the loss of 400 residents for primary care in Brooklyn. in Brooklyn. Northern and Central Brooklyn. Northern and Central Brooklyn. Our health professional shortage areas. Our health professional shortage areas. That means that there's already less. That means that there's already less than one doctor for every 2,000 people. Than one doctor for every 2,000 people. The Upper East Side of Manhattan. The Upper East Side of Manhattan is not a health professional shortage area. Is not a health professional shortage area. In the Upper East Side of Manhattan. the Upper East Side of Manhattan. There are three hospitals within three blocks of each other. There are three hospitals within three blocks of each other. So if Mr. Berger says. So if Mr. Berger says. That New York City has too many hospital beds. That New York City has too many hospital beds. Why aren't we starting in the Upper East Side? Why aren't we starting in the Upper East? Side. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. check. My name is Danny. My name is Danny. I'm an emergency physician. I'm an emergency physician. There's an emergency right now. There's an emergency right now. And that's Lady Liberty right here. And Lady Liberty Liberty right here. She represents the 99% of Americans. She represents the 99% of Americans. She is dying. She is dying. She is sick. She is sick. Before I take care of her. Before I take care of her. I need to ask her if she has a credit card. I need to ask her if she has a credit card. If she has money. If she has money. Because as a physician. As a physician. In the United States. In the United States. I can't take care of you. I can't take care of you. The same way. The same way. I do. I do. Unless you have money. Unless you have money. A job. A job. You come from this country. You, you come, come from, from this country. country. We cannot have it like this anymore. We, we cannot, cannot have it like this anymore. I went to medical school to practice medicine. I went to medical school to practice medicine. Not business. Not business. right now. Sorry. Healthcare is not a commodity. Healthcare is not a commodity. It should not be traded on Wall Street. It should not be traded on Wall Street. Healthcare is a human right. Healthcare is a human right. We want healthcare for all. We want healthcare for all. We want a single universal healthcare system. We want a single universal healthcare system. So, and expanded Medicare for all. And expanded Medicare for all. With everybody in. With everyone in. And nobody out. And nobody out. out. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. We're gonna do. We're gonna, gonna do, do a short. A short, short general assembly. General assembly. We wanna just. We want to just talk about, talk talk about, about the, beauty, the, the beauty of this day. Of this day. But let me not, but let me not be, rude, be rude. And let me say, let me say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. To healthcare, to healthcare for the 99%. For the 99%. Woohoo! Yeah! They meet Sundays. They meet Sundays at 4 p.m. At 4 p.m. And maybe one day. And maybe one day we can create. We can create and occupy. And occupy hospital. Hospital. Bring up Pat So I want to introduce Kristen and David. They're going to speak about. They're going to speak about the beauty. The beauty of this day.
And we're all gonna go home and get dry. And get dry. Okay, so I'm Kristen. I'm Kristen. And this is my first time. This is my first time speaking at Occupy. Speaking at Occupy. I've been involved in Occupy for four months. For four months. And I was also involved. And I was also involved with the, the March six months ago. 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 Was my introduction to Occupy. Was my introduction to Occupy. Uh, I, think, I think that this day. Is incredibly important. Not only because, not only because so many people took a stand on that day six months ago. So many people took a stand on that day six months ago. But also because we have to realize what we're up against. What the police were able to do six months ago. Okay. It's not okay. It's illegal. Yeah. It is. What, what the police did? What, what the police, police did? Six months ago. Six months ago. Is an example. Is an example. Well, it's time to have some fun. Of our repressive state. Of our repressive state. And donuts gone wrong. <laughs> and donuts gone wrong. <laughs> Hey guys. Hey guys. My name is David. My, My name is David. David. I have been I have been involved in Occupy. I've been, been in Occupy since September 17th. Since, since September 17th. 17th. Not as much as I would have liked. Not, Not as much as I would have liked. But I have a job. But I have, I have a job. job. But um, but I'm, I'm here today. I'm here today. And I was not here six months ago. I was, I was not, not here six, six months ago. ago. But I saw what happened. But I saw what happened. happened. And me, like many others around the country. And me, like many others around the country. And around the world. And around the world. We're, real, we're completely, completely Come on, uh, disgusted. Right disgusted. We're com we're completely, completely disgusted. Disgusted. About the events that happened on that day. About the events that happened on that day. But. But. Those events ultimately. Those events ultimately. Energized the entire movement. Energized the entire movement. And today was beautiful. And today was beautiful. Because we commemorated. We commemorated the six month anniversary of that day. The six month anniversary of that day. So we're gonna give people some time. We're gonna give people some time to come up and say a few words. To come up and say a few words. So if anybody would like to speak. So, so if anybody would like to speak. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. My name is Diane. My name is Diane. I live on the west side of Manhattan. I live on the west side of Manhattan. We have 1.5 million people. We have 1.5 million people. Who have no hospital. We have, have no hospital. hospital. On May the Thank you. First, on May the first. If, if we can please, if we can please, if we can please, organize a march around St. Vincent's. Organize and march around St. Vincent's. We have to deliver a message. We have to deliver a message to the ruthless politicians. To the ruthless politicians. And the, and big, the big mine big real estate. estate. Companies that took our hospital. Companies, Companies that, that took our hospital. hospital. It is a diabolical story. It, it is, is a diabolical story. And the media has not covered it. And the media has not covered it. There has not been one single story. There has and not been, been one single story. About how that hospital was stolen. About, about how that hospital was stolen. stolen. And it was stolen more than 10 years ago. More, more than, than 10, 10 years ago. We need an investigative reporter. We need, we need an investigative, investigative reporter. reporter who has the courage, who has the courage to tell this story. To tell this story. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Was there? Yeah. Just wondering, late.
I want to update you. I want to update you. On the vote. On the vote. To turn St. Vincent's. To turn St. Vincent's. Emergency room. Emergency room. Into condos. Into condos. For the rich. For the rich. For the rich. The vote. The vote. In the city council. In the city council. To do this. To do this. Was 49. Was 49. To 1. To 1. The only opposition vote. The only opposition vote. The turning St. Vincent's. The turning St. Vincent's. Into a condo for the rich. Into a condo for the rich. Was Charles Barron. Was Charles Barron. He voted against it. He voted against it. Let's give him a round of applause. Yes. The problem. The two politicians. The, the two, two politicians. The two city council people. The two city council people that did vote for it. That did vote for it. Come here all the time. Come, come here, here all the time. They say they support us. They say they support us. Then why? Then why? Did they vote? Did they vote? As a one percenter. As a one percenter. Vote. Votes. For the condos. For, for the, the condos. condos. They are both Democrats. They are both Democrats. Isn't that, Isn't that a one percent? A one percent method. Method of co-opting. Of co-opting and using and using your belief in them. Your belief in them. To sell you out. To sell you out. So please. So please, in the future, in, in the, the future, future, when a politician comes, when a politician comes and says, "I want to support you," I want to support. Want to support you. Look at the voting record. Look, Look at, at the, the voting, voting record. record. And the people that voted for this, and, and the people, people that, that voted, voted for this, are two politicians are two politicians in the Democratic Party. In, in the, the Democratic, Democratic Party. Party. I would advise. I would advise. If we want to be true, if we want to be true, to the cause. To the cause. The 99% of the 99% care. Ask them. Ask them why they voted. Why, why they voted. Like the one percent. Like the one percent. Thank you. Thank you. One is the guy that has the rasta hair that's always here. One is the other guy. Johnny Williams. Johnny Williams and the other guy that's always with him. It's in the paper. You can read it. You can look it up to vote. It's not propaganda. The vote was 49 to 1 to get rid and give, put condos where St. Vincent's is. Where are these people getting the money to sell you out? They probably got a backdoor deal and they got paid by the condo people to sell you out. They got paid by somebody. So when a politician comes, Look a little closer. When a politician comes, look a little closer. Not what they say, but what they vote for. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. How are you doing there, Mac? Staying dry? Running the phone? My check. My my name is Jonathan. My name is Jonathan. My name is Jonathan Sunshine. I tell four people, told you go to the hospital. The hospital? Interfaith Hospital. Interfaith Hospital. And I said there was supposed to be a rally. I said there was supposed to be a rally. That was supposed to be taking place there. It was supposed to be taking, taking place there. there. And I was hoping that I would see a lot of people here for the 99% over there. And I was hoping I would see a lot of people there for the 99% over there. But I didn't exactly see. Me and Connie was over there. Me and Connie was over there. And uh, we were trying to help save the place for, uh, you know, and, and we were trying to help save the place for bed and the other places. Anyway, the point is, those are, I mean, they're, they're in the uh, possibility of closing down, too, so we have to give them some help. Yeah. So we have to give them some help. Anyway, 
said the thing is that I was I was uh you know we held the we, we held up the signs and everything on the hey, Torchwood. You're welcome. Glad to be here. Atlantic Avenue between Troy and uh, uh, between Troy and Albany. I keep dropping. We them. held Thank up you. the signs on Atlantic, Atlantic Avenue. We held up the signs between Troy, Troy and Albany. Between Troy and Albany. Yeah, on Atlantic Avenue. On Atlantic yeah. Avenue. Now they need they need the help and the support of our community. They need, need the help and the support of our community. I'm having a little bit of a problem, guys. Um, let me just talk to Mac about it first. We second. also called in the media for that. I'm not feeling good for a moment. I only saw one or, one or two uh, the, uh, the Brooklyn papers was, uh, was, was uh, taking snappy pictures. We thank them for that. I only I'm saw one or two of the Brooklyn papers. We thank you for right that. Now. Right. I have a funny, anyway, I'm having a pain. I was hoping that the yeah, um, from the 99 yeah. Well, I'm using this on the. I was hoping that the people leaning on. I might go sit down for a little bit. I'm gonna sit down for a little bit. Maybe I'll find Miles. Maybe he'll sit with me. Okay, guys, I'm shutting down for a few minutes. I need to sit, even though I'm gonna have a very wet butt. But oh, I'm sorry. Um, just all of a sudden, for some reason, I'm not feeling so well. Nothing, nothing serious. Um, just need to sit, and maybe I'll dig into my backpack and find my fig newtons. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have a really wet butt if I sit on this bench. That kind of sucks. Um, hmm. Maybe I won't sit. You're welcome, people with Medicare. It's a really good discussion. Please watch Mac right now. Um, I'm going to dig in. I'm going to shut down, dig into my backpack, get something to sit on, eat a Fig Newton. Um, I don't know. I'm not, it's just suddenly not feeling good. So I'm um, just taking a break. Be back soon.